is Greta Van Fleet, and they're gaining some massive traction among rock fans for one polarizing reason. They're reminding everyone of legendary rock band Led Zeppelin, with near-identical vocals, the same drum kit used by John Bonham, and even similar riffs. This is Zeppelin's The Rover from their 1975 album Physical Graffiti. And this is Greta Van Fleet's breakout single, Highway Tune. Pretty uncanny. On one side, we have those saying they're too similar to Led Zeppelin's sound, that they're boring, blatant ripoffs, and have yet to bring anything new to the table. And on the other side, we have those who are happy to have a band reviving the hard rock sound of the 70s, bringing it to a new generation of listeners, and into a market that's oversaturated with R&B and hip-hop. Regardless of which side you sit on, Greta Van Fleet's singles are quickly gaining them fans, seeing them climbing rock charts, and having them sell out shows. All of this, and the band have yet to release a full debut record. Greta Van Fleet features twin brothers Josh and Jake Kiska, their younger brother Sam, and drummer Danny Wagner. Hailing from a small town in Michigan, the brothers grew up in a home with a limited record collection, hearkening back to the 50s. Their father was a blues rock fanatic who spun records by Bob Dylan, The Beatles, Hendrix, The Who, and of course, Zeppelin. The twins began hosting jam sessions in their garage when they were just 16. Josh quickly took the helm of frontman when he let out a howl in an attempt to compete over the band's instruments. His brothers were stopped in their tracks. They knew Josh could sing, but didn't know his register reached that of Robert Plant's, and so effortlessly at that. His twin brother Jake had studied guitarists Jimmy Page, Eric Clapton, and Pete Townsend growing up, naturally filling in as the lead guitarist of the group. Their younger brother Sam took to bass guitar and keys to round out their sound, and their friend Kyle was their drummer before their school friend Danny would go on to replace him. The four crafted a handful of demos, including Highway Tune, and put together a live EP. One track even went on to be featured in a Chevy ad. Having kids was always in my plan. Having a minivan was Those tracks eventually landed on the desk of Jason Flom, the music industry executive responsible for signing acts like Twisted Sister, Katy Perry, Kid Rock, Lord, and many others. Flom contacted their management and signed the young group to Republic Records on the spot. Greta Van Fleet headed into studio to compile their four strongest tracks into their EP, Black Smoke Rising. The youngest members of the group ditched their prom dates to set off on a completely sold-out North American tour. That's just how young these guys are. Tracks like Highway Tune and Safari Song quickly began placing high on rock charts and garnering massive radio play. Their label seems to be pushing them pretty hard. Although they may not be original, the raw, hard rock sound stands out against most radio rock. A few months later, they headed back to studio to expand their catalog with the double EP from The Fires. Featuring the original four tracks from their first EP, two new original tracks and two covers were added to round out the 30 minute set. There's no denying the resemblance to Led Zeppelin, and Greta Van Fleet wouldn't be the first to be accused of ripping off Led Zeppelin's sound. It happens every couple of years. When Rush released their debut in 1974, people started labeling them as the Canadian Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Nineteen eighty one saw Billy Squire's Lonely is the Night compared to Nobody's Fault But Mine. Yeah. And of course, one of the guiltiest Kingdom Comes nineteen eighty eight single, Get It On, was criticized by Jimmy Page himself for stealing a riff off Kashmir. Wolf Mother and Rival Sons are examples of more modern bands, also noted for sounding similar to Led Zeppelin. And now we have Greta Van Fleet, who are perhaps more welcomed now that Led Zeppelin have been gone for three decades. Even Robert Plant has given Josh a seal of approval. Josh's singing voice resembles Robert Plant's, but that's just his voice, it's not forced, the kid has a natural wail. 
He sounds like Geddy Lee from Rush sometimes too, and I'd argue that aside from Josh's voice, the band's influences stretch a little further than just Zeppelin. The brothers did grow up listening to the same bands that inspired even Zeppelin. Don't get me wrong, Led Zeppelin are one of the greatest rock bands of all time, there's no denying that. But let's not pretend like Zeppelin didn't steal lyrics and sounds from the artists before them. I'm dazed and confused, as it stays ago. Been dazed and confused for so long, it's not true. When our summertime, summer comes around. When the summer comes rolling Baby, way down inside Woman, you need love Yes, Zeppelin would give it their own twist, but they stole nonetheless. Greta Van Fleet are providing a much-needed contrast to today's alternative rock radio. Face it, Led Zeppelin are done making music, and I can only listen to each of their albums so many times. This generation won't get to see Led Zeppelin live on stage, and we won't hear new tracks by the classic rock band, leaving Greta Van Fleet to kind of fill the void. So are Greta Van Fleet the next Led Zeppelin? No, they're not. And they shouldn't try to be, or they'll always remain in Led Zeppelin's shadow. Greta Van Fleet are at the beginning of their musical careers, so of course, they're still wearing their influences heavily on their sleeves. They're a talented young band, all under 22 years of age, and with their debut record still in the works, I think with a little more time, they'll grow to find their sound and build upon their influences. Only time will tell. For now, enjoy the music. There are worse things you could sound like than Led Zeppelin. Thanks for watching, ladies and gents. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like rating, subscribe to learn more about the music you love, and as always, thank you to my amazing patrons at patreon.com slash middle8 who continue to support the channel and help me bring you more videos like these. For as low as a dollar, my patrons have been helping free up more of my time to make content, which is why I thank them by putting them in the credits. Thanks again. And tell me, what do you think about Greta Van Fleet? Let me know in the comments below, and keep listening.